Between the innocence of babyhood and the dignity of manhood, we find a delightful creature called a boy. Boys come in assorted sizes and weights and colors, but all boys have the same creed to enjoy every second of every minute of every hour of every day, and to protest with noise, their only weapon, when their last minute is finished and the adult males pack them off to bed at night. Boys are found everywhere, on top of, underneath, inside of, climbing on, swinging from, running around, and jumping too. Mothers love them. Little girls hate them. Older sisters and brothers tolerate them. Adults ignore them. And heaven protects them. A boy is truth with dirt on his face, wisdom with bubble gum in his hair, and the hope of the future with a frog in its pocket. When you're busy, a boy's an inconsiderate, bothersome, intruding jangle of noise. And when you want him to make a good impression, his brain turns to jelly. Or else he becomes a savage, sadistic jungle creature bent on destroying the world and himself with it. A boy is a composite. He has the appetite of a horse, the digestion of a sword swallower, the energy of a pocket-sized atomic bomb, and the curiosity of a cat. He has the lungs of a dictator, the imagination of a Paul Bunyan, the shyness of a violet, the audacity of a steel trap, the enthusiasm of a firecracker, and when he makes something, he has five thumbs on each hand. He likes ice cream and knives and saws and Christmas and comic books and the boy across the street and woods and water in its natural habitat and large animals and dad and trains and Saturday mornings and fire engines. He's not much for Sunday school, company or schools or books without pictures or music lessons or neckties or barbers or girls or overcoats or adults or bedtime. Nobody else is so early to rise or so late to supper. And nobody else gets so much fun out of trees and dogs and breezes. And nobody else can cram into one pocket a rusty knife, a half-eaten apple, three feet of string, an empty bull durham sack, two gum drops, six cents, a slingshot, a chunk of some unknown substance, and a genuine supersonic code ring with a secret compartment. A boy is a magical creature. You can lock him out of your workshop, but you can't lock him out of your heart. You can get him out of your study, but you can't get him out of your mind. You might as well give up, because he's your captor, your jailer, your boss, your master. A freckle-faced, pint-sized, cat-chasing bundle of noise. And when you come home at night with only the shattered pieces of your hopes and dreams, he can mend them like new with those two magic words. Hiya, Dad. <laughs> 